What's going on guys? This is the V back in action and today we're going to be reviewing my 164 Ottawa Subaru New Age Impreza. The Subaru Impreza is a compact family sedan um, first launched in 1992 as a successor to the Subaru Leon. Um, it has a pretty interesting rival relationship with the Lancer although the Lancer Evolution X um, usually performs a lot more better. The version we're checking out today is the second generation New Age Impreza WRX STI. Um, WRX stands for World Rally Experimental and STI stands for Subaru Technia International. And basically the WRX STI um, serves as a high performance variant of the normal Impreza. Um, the WRX STI um, uses a 2.5 liter turbocharged H4 engine producing 250 horsepower and um, it's quite an interesting engine actually not too common on other cars. Um, Impreza, especially the second generation, was widely seen in rally races and was actually quite popular too and it's a pretty popular tune-up car um, for its low price and um, quite good performance. So, anyway, um, let's move on to the model. So, here's my Impreza outside the box. Like most um, Outdoor 164 models, it has an open package and a acryl case inside for display. And um, let's take a look at the car from the front. So the front looks like this, and I'll be honest with you, this car lacks detail in every single way, even for a 164. Uh, I think it's terrible. And one of the main reasons is that the Mustang and the Veyron, which I reviewed earlier, had um, plastic headlamps for separate parts, but this one has just painted on headlamps. And not only is it just painted on, it has terrible detail as you can see right here. It looks very unrealistic. And you can completely tell it's just painted it on, and it gives a very toyish look. Um, I know for since 164 diecast cars are really small, um, it's not easy to make it very detailed, but really, this is terrible. I had a 172 Impreza that had a separate um, piece of plastic for a headlamp, so it's even worse than that. I mean, it's an outdoor. I think they should have at, at least put separate parts for the headlamps. Um, there's the STI logo down here on the bumper, and the um, Subaru logo right there. They're just painted on too, um, not very detailed or all of that. And overall, it's just very disappointing. And um, by the way, since it has a circle um, bug headlamp right there, this one is probably a facelift and pre-facelift Impreza um, made from 2000 to 2002. And um, since it has the steering wheel on the right, I guess this is an applied A version. Um, so let's take a look at the side. The side is pretty plain, nothing really interesting. Um, in white, the only thing I like about this car actually is the rims. Um, the gold rims, um, they're actually okay detailed, and probably the only thing on this car that I wouldn't criticize. So let's take a look at the car to the back. The back is not too different from the front. It has painted on features and um, the rear lamp right there is just really disturbing. It, it makes it completely look like a toy. And um, all the decals and the logo are just painted on so... I mean, it's an outdoor art, I guess. I mean, they didn't even put the least amount of effort into it. Right? Um, so why did I buy this car if it had so much terrible detail? Well, I'm a really big Super Impreza fan and um, Well, the second generation is probably the most iconic Impreza as it performed really well on Rally races and actually the second generation Impreza is the last generation Impreza to perform um, in a rally cross event so Not having it was not an option for an Impreza fan um, and even with its less impressive detail, I was pretty happy with just having a new age Impreza in my collection. 
Um, I would have preferred it more in blue since blue is the official rather cross color, but white is okay too. It gives a pretty clean feeling, so it's fine with me anyway. So this was my Outro Art Subaru New Age and Present Review. Um, overall this had very disappointing um, details. Um, even for a small like a scar, I, th I think Outdoor should have put at least um, plastic part headlamps, right? I mean, the painting it on is just really unimpressive. Um, so that was it, uh, the Super Impressive Review, and I'll see you guys later.